So basically, we started getting like a whole bunch of family members contacting us, uh, some friendly, not, some not so friendly. Actually, most of the family was pretty friendly. And then we got a bunch of friends. They weren't as friendly, you know. And they said, it's supposed to go back to the daughter. You know, we had a lot. There was actually some drama involved. Some people email us, don't sell it to Al. He's not a nice guy, which is totally the opposite. It's like one of the nicest. Nicest man you'll ever meet. Yeah, he's one of the nicest guys you ever meet. Super good guy. Um, You know, I, then Al emailed me the next day once he heard about it. And we started communicating over email. And I assured him, it's like, don't worry. You got right, first right of refusal. It's obviously a business for us still. But we'll work it through first. And if we can't work it out, then we'll look at other options. So we, we did over email first and we spoke on the phone a few times. We came up to a price that worked for both of us. Now, let me say, I, I could have sold it for a lot more money. Mm -hmm. Eight years ago, there was actually two uh, lockers in East Lake San Diego. And they both belonged to him. And he thought he took out everything that he wanted. But somehow he forgot about that. Or he didn't realize it was in there because there was two large lockers. And... Um, he abandoned the lockers. He basically just let him go to auctions. Whoever gets him, gets him. He just didn't realize that he left that in there. Uh, he's going to keep it for himself for the memories. And also in the video, originally we talked about that we th thought somebody had the gold medals. That wasn't the case. Al has the gold medals in the safety deposit box, so he has them. And the belt that was in the video, that was the most exciting part um, that he was excited about. It wasn't even the shoes. It was the belt because it was very emotional to him. And we have a really cool story. We actually saved that from the landfill because the original buyer didn't care. Not the guy we bought it from, but on the second unit, he actually threw that away. And George, where we bought the unit from, he actually pulled it out of the dumpster. And oh, to, wow. Al, that, yeah, to Al, that was the most important piece.